Doug, how do you explain the defense being so poor at the opening of all three games this year? Yeah, I think that, you know, obviously we're not executing well. Uh, I think that's the first thing you got to look at. Um, I think we have to, you know, see what we can do to help. I mean, tonight we pressured more than we have, you know, first, second, and third down. Um, you know, trying to get a team off track, try to get them off the field. Um, you know, that's something that, you know, it's, it's, it's disappointing. It's something that we're going to be working on. And, you know, obviously that, that puts you in a bind. You know, like you said, you, you never feel like you're in a rhythm of the game. And, um, you know, I think we all understand that. It's not something that, you know, we're looking at and trying to defend. We just got to figure out a way to get better, better at it. Thanks, Hayes. All right, let's go to D-Rock and then Mark Long. So along that same vein, why not take the ball first if, if the defense has struggled as much, especially those first few weeks? Yeah, what was the question? Taking the ball first. Yeah, I, I think that's something that I'll look at. You know, I, I again, I think, you know, just from a, a standpoint of, you know, tr trying to overall overall philosophy of, you know, trying to put the the defense out on the field first and make the offense execute. You know, it's kind of been a philosophy, but obviously it's something that you know we'll look at and see if we have to change it. Uh, can you give us an injury update on Leon Jacobs, Lingard, Wright, and talk about Cam's ejection? All right, who, who are these guys now? Who? Andrew Yeah, I haven't talked to the doctors yet. I, I can give you guys an update tomorrow on the injuries. Um, Leon, I know, will be out. What about Cam's ejection? Yeah, I, I didn't see much at all. I saw was I saw Cam on the bottom. And I saw the officials jump in there. Um, the official told me afterwards that, you know, he, I guess he jumped on him. And Cam went to push him off him so he touched the official that's that's what I was told so you know can't touch an official thanks D Rock all right let's go to Mark Long then John Shipley and then me O'Brien so how, just how disappointed was it to offensively to, to not Turn, to turn the ball over and, and struggle on third down, even in the red zone a little bit. The things that you did so well the first two games really just kind of backfired on you. Yeah, I just thought, you know, we, I just felt like we weren't, you know, in sync. You know, I think when, you know, they started out and, you know, he was like 11 for 11 at that point, you know, and they wound up scoring. I felt, you know, we had a good drive. Then we had a drop. Um, you know, I thought, you know, the last time, the last turnover, he tried to push it down the field, you know, late in the game. Uh, you know, you're going to take shots that way. Um, I wish we would have hit the shot and cover zero right at the end of the third quarter. I thought that was a good decision by him to throw the ball there. I wish we would have hit that one. Um, you know, but really at the, um, you know, at the end of it, it's just, um, you know, it's, it's, you just felt like you weren't, we weren't playing, you know what I'm saying? And in, in, in sync of, you know, how we want to play, you know, with, you know, play action, run, and mixing everything in there. We just felt like we were chasing, you know, and I just felt that way during the game. Thanks, Mark. All right, let's go to John Shipley, and then we'll finish up with me, O'Brien. Hey, Coach. I mean, you just alluded to uh, Fitzpatrick starting off 11 for 11. It seems like slow starts have really been the biggest problem this year. I mean, what, what can you guys really point to for why the starts on both offense and defense have been like they have been? I think when you look at any team and, and people don't start off well, it's probably going to be, um, you know, a lack of execution. I mean, it's just, I don't, I don't think that, um, you know, you can really say, say anything more than that. I mean, so, you know, we've got to do a better job of executing early on. Um, you know, I think, you know, right now the teams that we played have, have done a better job than we have really at the end of the day. So, you know, we just got to keep, you know, challenging ourselves to step up and, and get off the field and offensively be able to move the football. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, John. All right, let's finish up with Mia. Hey, Doug, uh, all the guys really echoed throughout this week that the last two weeks, even when you were down, it didn't feel like you were down. What was the vibe on the sideline tonight? And when did you sense maybe a change, if there was one, in what you saw the previous weeks when you guys were faced with a deficit? No, I just think, you know, it just gets a little bit, it gets a little bit more difficult, you know, depending on, on what you're, you know, you're seeing, meaning that, 
you know, teams will get a lead. They're not going to let you take shots down the field. I think that, you know, we were able to get the ball in the immediate section of it and break some tackles, but we never really were able to make uh, a play to, to ever, you know, in, in, in any of the phases to really swing the momentum, you know what I'm saying, of the game where you can get it back and feel like, okay, here we go. We were just trying to, we were trying to get to a point where we can, you know, maybe get it, you know, to, to where it, it gets back to a one score game. And we just weren't able to do that. Did it like feel like, you know, third quarter that this game had already gotten away or what was the vibe, especially having such a young roster? What did you see from your guys? I think, I think in this day and age, I think, you know, these guys, you know, again, it's, it's a team that goes out there and they, they, they play, play to play. It might not be the, you know, the, execute real well in the beginning but you know they got a lot of pride they they understand that you know we're going to keep getting better and um you know keep working on those things that you've seen so you're not gonna the one thing i don't worry about this team is 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 kind of you know vibes or hanging your head i mean i'm not gonna you know i know i'm gonna do my best to make sure that doesn't happen i didn't see that um you know, I think we were just, um, you know, obviously we had a couple of guys that were injured. That was, that was kind of, that, that always is tough, you know, and then a couple of calls go against you and, you know, that, that's tough too, but we've got to be able to overcome those things. Thanks, Mia. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks coach. Appreciate yep. your time.